So in this video, we're going to talk about how to cut our petticoat using hard net. So this is the net I will be using. So I am using the reduced formula here, which is our waist measurement divided by 6.28. So I did that and I got almost 4, 4 inches. So and th the length I'm using for this flea is 10, so I'll be measuring about 14. So I'm marking my radius now. Okay, my radius and that's the radius there. So the remaining measurement is 10. We're marking all the way down from the beginning here so i'm going to be having a total of 14 at the end of the day so it depends on the length of the gown you're making if you're making a long gown it should be longer than this this is shorter gown so you're going to cut now So after cutting, this is the piece I got. I got two pieces here. So this um, petticoat I'm making, we're going to be doing gathers on it. So we need about times three of our waist. You can make it times four or times five. We're using making times three of our waist. The actual measurement times three, whatever you get, that's the amount of that's the amount of uh, of the circle that you'll be cutting out so you measure it from the radius point like i did earlier so i'm going to pattern this on other other circles that i'm going to cut out no need to measure again so you place it on top and cut it out like that So I've got so after my calculation I discovered I'm going to have about um three pieces or four rather so so I'm getting I'm using three pieces so uh, I I already got the complete amount so I'm going to make it a a dual a dual petticoat like in two steps you can make yours three steps you can make yours four depends on the length it was going to if it, if it was to be a long gown it would have been about three four or five steps but this one is just two steps that I'm making so I want to cut a smaller one for the second step so the smaller one will be about half of this particular one that I've cut now this one is the full measurement then I'm going to divide, I'm dividing it into two to get the, the smaller measurement. So I'm going to fold, fold this net to desired, desired length and width so I can be able to cut it. So I'm marking the same radius now, which is four by four that's that actually is not a square you make sure in circles sorry I think it's a neckline so you measure the remaining one which is five for not going all the way to ten mm. again so you have a total of nine so we mark nine all the way And connect the lines then you cut so we're going to use this now to cut out other pieces because we need more so this one is about half of it so we're going to cut more of it we have just one for now
so we're going to we're going to pattern for the other ones and place that particular one on top and other pieces to cut them out so now we're done cutting all of them so we have about one two three four five six of it that's that's the three circles because it's half half like as it is there so if you don't want to make a circle you can decide to cut a straight strip like this so when you gather it to have a feeling like something like so so you can also decide to use um to do a straight cut instead of doing a circular cut so uh, i'm just trying to give you the example or the difference between the two of them you can do a circular or a or a straight strip for these um petticoat now if you're doing straight straight doesn't push out the way the circular one does the circular one give you a, a, a lot of fullness as you can see i'm illustrating with it there so whatever you wish you can do now we'll cut the piece of fabric we layer our net on so i'm measuring the length here a minus 10 10 is from my shoulder to my waist so the remaining is what i'm calculating so i'm going to add extra two inches one inch to close it down and one inch to put my waistband so i'm going to fold the fabric like this and mark the same thing all the way so the width of the measurement is going to be about times two of your waist so you're going to trace it out and cut it out like so and that's all